right, guys, back uh, for another episode of Ask Fins. I think we're up to episode 10, uh, with lucky number 10 uh, with this one. So this one was not so much uh, a question as it was a, a conversation. So I'm, I wanted to, uh, I've got the permission of the asker, I'm not going to name them by name, but I uh, wanted to discuss uh, a problem that they were having uh, in a question that they posed to me around what is a process improvement and how can you actually define whether something is a process improvement or just is uh, what I call squeezing the balloon and I'll use that analogy later on. So the, the, the question essentially was uh, they were involved in some recruiting and uh, the process used to be a certain way and now uh, the perception is a lot of the things that the recruiter used to do like printing up the interview guide and printing up documentation is now being emailed to the interviewer uh, to then print on their end. And so that is being celebrated within this organization as a, as a significant uh, process savings because now the time to deliver on the recruitment process um, is shorter. But now the time and the investment involved in, uh, in my friends uh, within their company uh, is now greater. So when they when the when the business is now is now recruiting, it, it's taking them longer. And so the question is, uh, it started out off as what, uh, huh? Um, and then it morphed into is this actually a process improvement? Is is this something that can be de defined as uh, a win for the organization? And based on the limited knowledge that I have that I have uh, of that particular situation, no. Absolutely not. Um, it seems to me that what's happened is, uh, as in most large organizations, there's sort of a silo mentality, and uh, their um, recruitment uh, HR function, wherever wherever it may reside, um, decided to make this change without identifying what the impact to the upstream and downstream processes are. Processes are. And this is, again, what I, what I talked about earlier, the, the squeezing the balloon. So you literally take one of those long balloons that you make balloon animals with, and if you squeeze the middle, you're, you're making the, 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 the process in the middle uh, tighter, so it's, it's, it's more, it takes less time, whatever. Um, but what you're doing is you're just squeezing the pain to the ends, to the, to the up and to the downstream. You're not actually solving a problem, you're just transferring the problem somewhere else. So in actuality, you haven't fixed anything. Now we didn't get into discussions over, you know, how long a certain task takes and, and what the salary of the, the person completing the task is. It, it, in actuality, for the organization, they may have actually incurred additional costs because the recruit, uh, recruitment team may be at a, at a lower rate than, uh, than the management team. And I, and I don't know all of the specifics, but I know sort of based on my uh, experience and, and my exposure to a, a number of different companies and a number of different uh, industries and organizations, that, that's typically how it works. So by, by transferring the accountability for a task from a lower, uh, lower rated uh, and when I talk about lower rated, it has nothing to do with you know how good they are at doing their job, but just it's just lower like pay rate. From a lower rated to a higher rated, you've actually incurred additional costs to achieve the same outcome, which I mean is actually the opposite of what you want to do. When you look at process improvements, um, it's best to look at them from a holistic standpoint, and not just what's good for me and my area, but what's good for the organization, and so. When, you, when you're looking at a process to make a process improvement, you don't want to just squeeze the balloon and transfer your problem somewhere else. You want to actually fix the problem and address it at the root without, without squeezing the pain elsewhere because that actually doesn't solve anything from, a, from an organizational standpoint. So, uh, friend, hope I answered your question. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to repeat pretty much verbatim what we talked about, uh, I guess it would have been a few days ago. Um, and uh, so hopefully I answer your question. Don't, folks, when you're, when you're fixing processes, don't just squeeze the balloon, fix it, pop the balloon, whatever, whatever change analogy you wanna, you wanna do. Uh, don't, just, um, don't just transfer the pain elsewhere, actually solve the problem, okay? Uh, again, thanks for the question. If you've got any others, use the hashtag AskVince. 
Uh, and thanks for uh, thanks for uh, watching episode ten. And please uh, ensure you uh, subscribe to my to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks.